guys. So I just wanted to come on and touch on this story that's kind of out here. And to my understanding, it's continuing to grow because now today there's a post up stating that the parents, some of the parents are uh, hiring attorneys. Um, as they should, because like I was just saying in some comments before I decided to make this video, you would need to give me my money back. And as I was looking into this, they're saying it's about $60 a person to even get into this place. Um, and the one in Philadelphia, maybe a couple of them, I don't know, because there's one in San Diego as well. But I believe this happened in uh, Philly. Um, there, There's a water park attached to it um, as well. So maybe that's, I guess that's why the price is like that. But yeah, like you're not going to discriminate against me openly uh, or my child and I'm paying you X amount of dollars to do that. That's just not how that's going to end. You can think that if you like. Um, but yeah, I think they need to give people their money back. And um, I don't think diversity training is the, the answer. Um, well, I'm not saying that they should not give their employees diversity training. Most companies already do that anyway. Um, there is two types, however. There's one where people just come in and lecture and, and kind of tell you what not to do, which people end up doing the same stuff they tell them not to do anyway, right? And then there's that diversity training where um, employees, it, companies will have their employees interact uh, within the training, and it kind of gives you a feel of the type of people that you're hiring. Now, um, most people don't use that one, however, but there is one out there like that. But And I guess it's just companies that really, really need to know the type of person you are um, before they allow you um, within their company. But for something like this, they're probably just giving them a diversity lecture, right? Um, and I don't think that that's going to change um, people's behavior because hate is a very rooted a very deeply rooted um, emotion, and it's not something or whatever you choose to call it, because some people may not feel that's the emotion, but it's something that's taught, and it's taught very early on, and so I don't think people are just going to grow out of that because you're talking to them for four hours, is my point. Um, this is unfortunate, and I really feel like this company should have cameras up anyway, and they should regularly check those cameras to see if people are doing what they're supposed to do that way they can address it before these people have to come out here and put these videos out here, right? And I was on TikTok and there's a guy out there and he shows up, he shows up black, but I don't really think that he is. Um, he was saying, oh, then it's not, it's not the employees. They're not, um, it's not racism. It's not the employees. They just have bad management. Well, uh, and they have bad management, and that opens the door for discrimination to happen. For whatever reason, you don't choose to call it racism, maybe because you work there, and maybe you were one of those people who had one of these costumes on that were acting in a certain way. Um, and it's that part, too, because I was thinking about that as well. I was like, all these people, people are assuming that all these people are, are non-black, but some of them probably are, and that, you know, and or assumed black because people will show up uh, looking a certain way, but that that's not truly who they are on the inside. And for some reason, certain people in this country don't want to, um, they don't want to acknowledge that. And this is why black people stay in the position that they're in. But I digress. But yeah, he's on TikTok saying all of that, like, don't blame the employees. Yeah, you, the employees is the one to blame. They're, you guys are the ones getting this cup sued by acting that way. Um, there's no, there's no harm in you acknowledging every child. If you just don't do anything but slap their hand and go all the way down the line, you knew what the job was when you took the job. So I'm not going to, uh, tolerate anybody with nonsense excuses about the behavior of what we see in these videos. Um, but you guys let me know what you think about all of this. Like I said, that guy, I don't even remember his name, but he's on TikTok. When you start looking up Sesame Place, it'll come up. Um, because he had started making videos about the company last year. So I don't know how long Sesame Place has been around. Um, you know, I've never heard of it until this story, to be really honest. Um, you know what you guys think about all of this? And um, how do you feel about the way they handled this by just issuing that statement about they're going to start offering more inclusive training? Um, but we understand training is not going to change someone's behavior. Um, it's just not. 
You know, people are who they are. You just need to be careful of the type of people you're hiring in certain jobs because you do have to have a, a high level of tolerance for people. You know, and that's not even just about race for just for people in general. You know, some people have class issues. We see that playing out. Some people have, you know, it, there's all type of, there's a plethora of things, right? People are disrespectful to the elderly, disrespectful to dis disabled people, right? There's a lot of different um, behaviors out here that can easily become an issue in places like this because people don't handle situations when they're in front of them the right way. And, you know, that's why I'm saying I don't think the diversity training or them just putting that statement out is enough. I think they should offer those families some type of compensation for, for the behavior, uh, especially with somebody spending close to $100 a person to get into this um, nonsense. But let me know what you guys think about the whole story in the comments. Um, there's several videos out here, which is highly disturbing, of this happening to black children. And, and even on TikTok, there's one um, for a Chuck E. Cheese as well. So I don't even know what city that was in. Um, but the Chuck, they, whoever was in the Chuck E. Cheese outfit, they did the same thing. They, the little black boy was like right in front of him, like touching his legs, and he ignored, he ignored um, him. Because there are people non people of color, of course, trying to make excuses that maybe they don't see the children, but you saw the child that's even shorter than the child that's trying to get your attention right next to that child. Like, are people stupid or do they take us for being stupid because we just don't ever speak up? I don't know which one it is, but, um, you know, people trying to make sense of racism is, is disgusting, is as very, it's just as disgusting as the behavior, uh, the people acting out the behavior. You know, that at the end of the day, um, you could clearly see that if they could see that one child next to the other child, they could have seen all the children that were standing in line waiting to greet, be greeted by them. Um, so whatever. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments and how do you think people should handle stuff like this? Personally, if I had a smaller child, I would not take my child to this place. Uh, I'm a firm believer in people don't have to like me and you don't have to take my money either. And that's what's not going to happen. I, I'm not dying for nobody's attention out here, dying for nobody to like me out here. Um, you, are, you are more than welcome to feel however you choose to feel about me. But what you're not going to do is ask me for no money. And what you're not going to do is get none from me. And I openly know that you have um, stuff like this going on in your place of business. Um, like I said, they should have cameras up anyway, and they should be checking the management or whoever. If they need to put that type of person in place, they should. Checking the cameras, checking the behavior of these people, all of their employees, but in particular the ones who are, who are interacting with the guests. And they should be addressing with the stuff they see. Uh, people should not have to come to them with this, right? You know that you have to manage your, your park right at the end of the day no one has to explain that to you uh, but let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments and the stuff that you're hearing on social media how do you feel about what people are saying and people trying to make excuses and then black people who are in relationships with people who are not black they tend to want to make excuses for people um, as if you're talking about all people of non-color i'm only talking about the racist ones but if the shoe fits then wear it and that goes for you too if you marry to somebody that is acting like this, period. I'll see you guys in the next video.